Is your CPU holding you back while gaming? Windows runs a lot of background processes and settings that can impact your CPU's performance. But with the right tweaks, you can unlock its full potential and get the best gaming experience possible. In today's video, I'll show you how to optimize your CPU for gaming, eliminate unnecessary background tasks, and maximize FPS. So if you're new here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Let's get started. In the first step, we'll disable unnecessary background services that consume resources. Press the Windows key, type Services, and open the Services window. Review services that are not essential for daily use. For example, Background Intelligent Transfer Service, BITS, used for Windows updates, but disabling it can save resources when updates aren't needed. BitLocker Drive Encryption. If you don't use disk encryption, disable this service to reduce CPU usage. Superfetch, SysMain, preloads frequently used apps but can be resource heavy. If your system has enough RAM, consider disabling it. Print spooler, disable if you don't use a printer. Windows search, if search indexing is unnecessary, disabling this can improve system speed. Windows Defender Antivirus, if using third-party antivirus software, disable Windows Defender to free up resources. To disable a service, double-click it, set the startup type to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. Be cautious. Avoid disabling critical system services. Alright guys, now we're going to disable Hyper-V services. Turning it off can help boost system performance by freeing up resources. First, type Turn Windows Features On or Off into the search bar. Click on the option that appears to open the Windows Features window. In this window, scroll down until you find the Hyper-V option. Uncheck the box next to it to disable it. Once you've unchecked it, click OK to apply the changes. You might get a prompt asking you to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. If that happens, click Restart Now or manually restart your system to complete the process. Disabling Hyper-V can help reduce unnecessary system overhead, especially if you're not using this virtualization feature. All right, guys, now go ahead and download the CPU optimization pack from my official website. The link is in the description. Feel free to check this pack with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus-free. Once downloaded, extract the file and open the folder. Start by opening the registry folder and installing each registry file individually. These files are specifically designed to optimize your system for gaming, improving overall performance. Next, we're going to use Chris Titus tool, one of the best debugging tools available. Simply click the provided link and copy the command. Then, open the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, and launch it. Right-click on the PowerShell icon and select Run as Administrator. When the confirmation window appears, click Yes to allow changes. Once PowerShell opens, paste the copied command and press Enter. The tool will start running directly from PowerShell, so there's no need to download anything separately. Once the tool has fully loaded, navigate to the Tweak section. You'll see different options like Standard, Minimal, and Clear. It's best to choose standard because it automatically creates a restore point and performs essential optimizations, such as removing unnecessary temporary files, disabling telemetry to prevent data collection, and, and turning off game DVR to improve gaming performance. A great feature of this utility is that you can hover over any option to see a description of what it does, helping you understand the impact of each tweak before applying it. Before proceeding, click on Run O&O Shutup 10 a tool focused on enhancing privacy by reducing the amount of data Microsoft collects from your system. Once inside, go to the top menu, click Actions, and select Apply Only Recommended Settings. These settings are completely safe and won't interfere with your regular activities, including gaming. For extra safety, it's recommended to create a restore point before applying the settings. Click OK to confirm, then close the tool. Now return to the Chris Titus tool and click Run Tweaks at the bottom. This will begin applying all selected optimizations automatically. The process is smooth and only takes a few minutes. Once completed, you'll see a Tweaks Finished message at the bottom of the window. These tweaks not only free up storage but also help enhance system performance. Now let's install Park Control, one of the best applications for unlocking your CPU's maximum potential. Once you open the application, scroll down and select Bitsum Highest Performance as the power profile. Make sure Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency DC are all disabled and set to 100%. Next, enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost. 
a feature that disables inactive threads during light tasks, but activates all threads when gaming for maximum performance. In power options, select Bitsum Highest Performance to ensure your CPU is running at its peak for maximum FPS. Finally, confirm that everything is set to 100% for optimal performance, then click Make Active and apply to finalize the changes. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. Another useful step to optimize your system is to reduce unnecessary graphical effects in Windows. This helps lower system resource usage by disabling unneeded visual effects, enhancing performance during high demand tasks like gaming. Begin by typing Adjust into the search bar and selecting Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows from the results. In the new window, choose the custom option to manually configure the visual settings. From the list of effects, make sure that Show Thumbnails instead of Icons and Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts are checked. These settings help maintain functionality and readability. Once done, click. Apply to save the changes and close the window. By disabling unnecessary animations and visual effects, this adjustment reduces the strain on system resources, resulting in improved performance, particularly during gaming or other resource-intensive tasks. All right, let's start by cleaning up your system to enhance its performance. Begin by closing all programs on your desktop to ensure nothing interferes with the process. After that, press the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type Temp and press Enter, which will take you to the folder containing temporary Windows files. Once you're there, press Ctrl plus A to select all the files and then hit Delete to remove most of them. Don't be concerned if some files can't be deleted. That's normal and typically means they're or either in use or protected by the system. Next, you'll repeat this process for another set of temporary files. Open the Run dialog box again by pressing Windows key plus R type percent temp percent and press Enter. This will open a different folder with more temporary files. As before, press Ctrl plus A to select all the files, then click Delete. Some files might still not be deleted, but that's totally fine. This simple cleanup will help free up space and boost your system's performance. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. See you in the next one. Bye.